investigates the moments leading up to a Sturgeon police officer shooting and killing a 13 pound dog. We told you about this incident on Tuesday after the officer's actions caused an uproar in the community. Through a records request, we got a hold of that officer's body camera footage. ABC 17's Mitchell Kaminsky joins us live from our newsroom after going to Sturgeon and speaking with the dog's owner. Mitchell, the city posted an update on Facebook this morning. Megan Lucas, the city believes the officer acted within its authority. However, they later added they're going to be sending all of their officers to Boone County Animal Control for future training. Moments before a shot rings out, body cam footage from the Sturgeon Police Department shows Officer Woodson getting out of his car and trying to capture a dog named Teddy for three minutes and six seconds before pulling out his gun and killing it. He notices Teddy's head is turned sideways. Neck's broken. Come on, baby. Something you up. I'm going to take you to get help. Makes multiple attempts to capture it. There you go. I'm not going to let you bite me. But the dog eludes his efforts and trots away. Like the dog, Teddy, was blind and deaf. Today, I showed the body cam footage to the dog's owner, Nicholas Hunter, who says he plans to take legal action. Uh, after seeing the first statement and the second statement, uh, it's just increased my uh, emotional distress and frustration with the city. Hunter confronted Woodson the night of the incident, who said he was unaware the dog was blind and deaf and thought it was a stray. Without all the material, can you read a, a simple peaceful dog. No, you cannot. How was I supposed to know the dog was blind and just confused? How was I supposed to know any of that? A statement obtained by ABC 17 from the person who contacted Joint Communications but wished to remain anonymous out of fear of retaliation from the city wrote, I cannot stress enough, this animal was in no way a threat to others. Hunter says he has made multiple attempts to speak with the mayor. I've been trying to make contact with the city and the mayor. Uh, I am yet to hear anything back. As a member of the Army, he added that he supports police, and all he wanted was an apology and a promise that they would implement better training on how to handle dogs. It makes me lose, uh, kind of lose hope, and, and not the justice system all around, but our justice system here in certain. Hunter tells me he's received a lot of support from the community, but added that a lot of people in town own dogs, and now some of them are afraid that if their dog gets loose, they might get shot. Mitchell, thank you. We have reached out to the city and mayor for additional comment, but have yet to hear back.